Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Many gas range repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. You should shut off the gas supply as well. Have an assistant help you to move the range away from the wall to access the safety valve, pressure regulator, oven sensor, or control panel components. If you need to replace a control panel component, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the six screws to release the upper rear access panel. To uninstall the clock control, first depress the retaining tab to disconnect the clock control wire connector. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the four mounting screws to release the clock control from the support braces. You can remove the oven light switch from the panel by depressing the side retaining tabs. Then detach the wires. To uninstall the control panel itself, unthread the lower and upper mounting screws. Reinstall the control panel by positioning it on the end caps. Thread the upper and lower mounting screws. Reinstall the oven light switch by first connecting the wires to the terminals. Then snap the switch into place on the control panel. Position the clock control on the support braces and thread the four mounting screws. Connect the wire connector. Reinstall the rear access panel by aligning the tabs behind the lip of the control panel. Thread the screws to hold it in place. With the repair completed, move the appliance back against the wall. If you need to remove the main top, first lift off the three grates. Remove all of the burner caps and lift the center burner base straight up to remove. Using a 3 16 inch socket or nut driver, unthread the mounting screws securing the front and rear burner bases. With the screws unthreaded, lift each base straight up to remove. Next, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread all of the screws, securing the orifice holders to the main top. Pull off the control knobs. You can use string or wire to help pry them off. Open the oven door and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws securing the valve control panel.
Remove the panel. Unthread the two screws securing the main top. You can now pull the main top forward and lift up to remove. To replace a surface burner valve, first remove the appropriate spark switch or switches. Use a half inch wrench to unthread the nut to release the orifice holder and supply tube from the valve. Using the quarter inch socket or nut driver, unthread the screw to release the old valve from the manifold. This may require some effort. Install the new surface burner valve by aligning it on the manifold, then thread the screw to secure. Insert the gas supply tube into the new valve and thread the nut. Avoid over tightening the nut. Snap the spark switch onto the valve or valves as necessary. Reinstall the main top by aligning the rear edge under the retaining tabs. Confirm that the orifice holders and igniters protrude through the holes in the top. Thread the two screws to secure. Reinstall the valve control panel by aligning the slots at the top with the bracket tabs. Then thread the mounting screws. Replace the control knobs. Thread all of the screws to secure the orifice holders to the main top. Reposition the burner bases on the main top so the igniter aligns with the notch in the base. Thread the mounting screws to secure the front and rear bases. Realign all the burner caps. Reinstall the grates. To access oven components, fully open the oven door and rotate both door hinge locks back. Partially close the door, then lift and pull the door toward you to remove. Slide out the oven racks. To reach the burner tube and oven igniter, Use a flathead screwdriver to unthread the two rear screws, securing the oven's bottom panel. Lift the panel up from the back to remove. Using a 3 8 inch socket or nut driver, unthread the nut to release the burner shield. If you need to replace the oven igniter, Open the broiler drawer and use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the wire cover. Move the cover out of the way, then depress the tabs to disconnect the igniter wire connector and feed the wire connector through the hole in the cover. Detach the wires from the oven safety valve terminals. For easier access to the igniter, 
You can unthread the two mounting screws to release the burner tube. You can now unthread the mounting screws to release the old igniter. Install the new oven igniter by aligning it on the burner tube and securing it with the mounting screws. If applicable, reposition the burner tube by aligning it on the safety valve orifice and the frame, then rethread the screws. Attach the wires to the safety valve terminals. Feed the wire connector through the hole in the cover and connect it. Reposition the cover and rethread the screw to hold it in place. Continue the reassembly by realigning the burner shield and securing it with the nut. Reinstall the bottom panel by aligning the front edge first. Rethread the two rear screws. Replace the oven racks. To disassemble the oven door, use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the four bottom screws, securing the outer door panel. Next, unthread the two upper screws, securing the door handle and the inner panel assembly. Set the handle aside. You can now separate the inner door assembly from the outer panel. To reach the inner door glass, use the quarter inch socket or a square drive bit to unthread the four screws securing the retaining panel. Set the panel aside and you can remove both sheets of inner door glass along with the frame. Reassemble the door by first positioning the inner oven door glass in the panel. Replace the frame and the second sheet of glass. Reinstall the retaining panel by aligning the bottom edge first. Rethread the screws to secure. Join the inner door assembly and the outer door panel together. Realign the handle and fully thread the upper screws to secure it. Replace the four bottom screws. Reinstall the oven door by inserting the door hinges into the hinge slots at a 45 degree angle. Lower the door to its fully open position, then rotate the hinge locks forward.
With the reassembly complete, turn the gas supply back on. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply, and your gas range should be ready for use.